back to the channel i've even forgot my own intro but that's also because i'm going through a little bit of a like name like, crisis like i feel like i want to change my name but i don't know if i want to change my name for if you don't know my name is tt i do web to related content this video is going to be about let's play i've done a couple let's play videos those are more like reviews this is more of a recap because anytime i check my channel analytics it's like people just want let's play this is going to be a recap of season one for those who don't want to read season one those who have forgotten about what happened in season one those who just want a nice helpful recap i am here for you and i've done it in a very nice simple visual way but before we start make sure to like make sure to subscribe let me just put this here so i don't forget put inside the comments what type of video style of this what type of recap of another webtoon you would like the comment that gets the most likes if i like that webtoon i would do it <laughs> a helpful key to know gray is for friends and family gray string is for friends and family and then green and i i don't know if green is showing up well i feel well mm, kind of mm. i wish it was like red i wish it was like red something striking but green is for like romantic and or and anything that's not platonic I've been yapping for a hot second. Let's just get right down to the video. Okay, so we start our first chapter. We are introduced to Sam. So she's a gamer. This is something that we know that she cares about. She's been developing a game and working really, really hard on a game since college. One day she uploads her game, blah, blah, blah. But a popular YouTuber, Marshall right here, he reviews the game. He hates the game. His fans go and then review bomb the game. And guess what, y'all? He moves into the same apartment block on her, literally on the same floor. So she runs into Marshall in her apartment building. And she's like, this is so weird. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to keep, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my personal opinions about the writing. But like, she does this whole exposition thing where she's like, I know who you are. You're Marshall. You have this many subscribers. You do this let's play game content. And I'm like, this is so weird. If someone started to pop out to me, I started talking to me and telling me about my life, I'd, I'd be scared. I'd be, I'd be a little bit frightened. Anyway, I know it's like for exposition, but like it was just really, really strange. He's like, you just did my game. You reviewed it badly. And he's like, whoa sorry about your game but like look critiques critiques i basically did you a favor i can go back and you can make it better you probably got free publicity from it and she's like yeah you obviously don't know what you've done you obviously don't know what you did when you reviewed my game badly and if you ever review my game you ever talk about me again i will sue you and it's weird because i'm thinking like how can he be so too so she goes and she meets up with her friends vicky here Angela here, Link, who's here, that's a friend, Green, the gray string, green string comes later, and then also Dee, Dee's like her friend from college as well, he works at the coffee with Link, Dee is not as important to the story and that's why she's not up here on this wall, she goes and meets these friends and they're comforting her, she runs into Marshall again and they bond over games which is great, good for them, they do this thing where it's like you would think that the way the conversation went you would think that the other each of them don't know that the other plays games or develops games for a living she kind of gets to know the perils of like living next to a really really loud youtuber it also kind of introduces the idea of marshall potentially like overworking himself but she's like damn this guy's still working like what's going on sam gets to her office and meets charles charles is like her manager she gets it's and charles doesn't put her on like a project that she's been asking to be put on like she vocalized like hey i want to be put on this project instead he asks her to make coffee and guess what so her dad's ceo the dad good old she's a nepo baby y'all she's like the web to nepo baby so her dad's the ceo of the company she works in the company he's her manager and that's kind of the whole setup she goes to see her dad who is like a giant man baby her mother is some actress she does like ads like she acts in ads and like i am going to be so frank i was rereading this webtoon and i was like who do i look like have i lost the plot have i actually lost the plot i'm married to a multi-millionaire serial and i'm working and what i'm doing i'm doing ads for erectile dysfunction 
okay anyway so umed is who her co worker again not as important as story he's not on this wall but he's great i, I actually like umed anyway so umed's her co worker and he's like okay charles stop giving sam grunt work i'll swap with her so she can do what she wanted to do what she vocalized that she wanted to do link tries to ask sam out on a date this is link if you remember he tries to ask sam out on a date but she's very oblivious she gets back to like her flat and marshall is incredibly loud like just living next to her like he's incredibly loud so she tells him to be quiet she like slips a note underneath his door. The next chapter we see, you can see like Marshall being like overworking himself. He also like meets the other members of this video game group that Sam is involved with. So it's Sam, it's Vicky, it's Angela, it's Abe who's not here in this wall. And then it's Link's younger brother as well. They meet up together, they celebrate that their guild is like in the top ranking of this server the implication of that is that they get to kind of do like a game together with another high ranking group so going back to sam and her game she had been in contact with like the website in which her game was like on so it's in this in this webtoon it's called indigenous that's like the website where her game is on where it was review bombed by marshall's fans the response she got from them was like hey look we can reinstate your account because her account got deleted, I think. And the engineer was like, look, we will reinstate your account, but we can't modify scores. We can't do that. And she was sad, but then one of her guildmates who I completely forgot about, Olivia, she's like this little girl, I think she's like 12 or something. Because <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, what 12 year old is hanging about with full grown adult? <laughs> like, it's fine, but like, she has a shop room, but like, uh, okay anyway this olivia babe is like girl get up get up like why are you being sad like get up so she then goes with her newfound like confidence from a 12 year old she then goes and she goes to confront marshall and then we meet marshall's girlfriend monica the best character and then because of that it kind of throws her off balance she's talking to two people instead of one which he which she didn't like plan for so she starts getting anxious and he starts noticing it and he kind of builds her out of the conversation it's like oh okay you want to talk about the noise right don't worry, don't worry. we've sorted that blah blah and he like shoes her out of his apartment because he can see that she's getting anxious talking to them and she was like oh wouldn't it be so terrible if people found out that these two are dating because they're obviously trying to keep it like quiet i think that was dropped she never did anything with that information like at all it's not that important but we, but we get a glimpse of ape and link's younger brother dallas talking like i said they're in the same like guild game guild group thing what's the one he's like don't smoke your dad that died of cancer like what are you doing like don't why why are you smoking as well as the fact that we also kind of see a glimpse into sam's childhood when she was like very very ill very sick etc etc so she runs into marshall at the park she's walking her dog she runs into marshall at the park he's like i hope you're good what did you want to say to me so before she can discuss anything they run into fans of marshall's and she's watching them interact and she's like damn like this man really loves his fans and his fans love him right back she seems she's back at her office her receptionist was flirting with like the delivery guy and then he got distracted i think he poured coffee on her sweater i remember rereading this for this video and being like oh my god this is like the beginning of the end <laughs> this is the beginning of the end this is when i started to like oh yeah because we started to see like sam and charles interaction way more i was like this is when i started to hate this web too she removes her sweater she's wearing a camisole umed is asking her like oh hey what happened she explained what happened she's like coffee spilt on me charles asks her to her his office and he's like why don't you tell me what happened and i'm sitting here thinking is this a writing error what do you mean we just explained what happened so what are we talking about like literally like a panel before like we literally just explained what happened why are we explaining what happened a second time in the span of a couple seconds she explains it again and then he's like oh can't you just go home and get changed he's like oh i took i took a bus in my mind i'm thinking get an uber you're rich 
I, I don't know, like, am I so crazy or for thinking that? I applaud her being environmentally conscious, but like I'm thinking, just get into her home, I don't know. He gives her his shirt, like he literally takes the shirt off his back to give it to her, which is the weirdest thing ever. Especially because he had a backup shirt that he could have just given her. He literally undressed, and I'm like, <sighs> So it's inappropriate for her to wear that cam. So and of course she speaks on it, of course. But I was like, this is so like the way we see women's bodies, it's the strangest thing in comparison to anyway. I'm not going to go into that whole spiel. So he gives her her shirt, blah blah blah. He wants to fire Lucy, who's the receptionist, for like flirting on the job and kind of like in her own way causing the coffee to kind of spill on Sam. And she's like, whoa. Don't do that. She stops being afraid of confrontation, which is a big thing for her because she's afraid of confrontation. She stands up for Lucy. And I was like, okay, girl, I see you. Good for you. My dad's like, because he's like, what's going on? Why is my adult daughter in a room where no one else is in with this man? I'm very weird and I'm very much concerned about my adult daughter and her relationships and her having sex. Again, did I say that she's an adult? I just feel like no dad should be that concerned with like what his adult daughter is doing. I just feel like that's that strange. Okay, so the whole thing is resolved. She gets a shirt to wear. She tells him not to fire Lucy. Her dad's being weird, whatever, it's fine. Like the thing is resolved. She stands up to him. It's great. We're like, oh, okay, girl, we see you. Blah, blah. She goes back to Umed and she's like, what do you know about this indigenous website? What do you know about it? So Marshall finally sees that like, damn, my fans really trashed this babe's game. Like they really, they really went and reviewed, bombed this girl's game. And again, I'm thinking to myself like, feel like you should like you're telling me in your whole career this has never happened to you your fans haven't reacted negatively and or positively to something that you said i just feel like that's we're pushing it we're, uh, but hey for the plot i can't i can't i can allow a lot of things for plots to happen monica the girlfriend is like be careful of how you respond because if you condemn your fans they can turn on you and that can even have like a more negative response back on sam and umed and her co-workers are still trying to help sam out in this whole indigenous thing they're like hmm what if we propose a way to indigenous about the flaws in its system and sam can write the proposal they were talking talk, talking about gaming and software development and all that stuff and it's things like this where i'm like okay monkey like okay like okay okay girl like you're true to this you're not new to this like this is your this is your bag this is your bag all the software like i did a video on like all the shenanigans of let's play and i talked a little bit about like monkey start i think she started a little <sighs> she started in software development or something like that like you know what i'm saying like she she's in this this is her bag, like this whole gaming software, like all that stuff, tech, like that's her, that's her. Anyway, it goes right over my head, like I don't understand a thing, I'm reading it and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about babe, like, I don't know what you're talking about, but like, for the people who do, I'm sure they got a little kick out of it, I'm sure they're like, oh yeah, this is, this is cool, this is cool. Sam's back at home, and she's like, hmm, why did Charles give me his shirt? I don't understand and I'm sitting there like he just said like why you it he literally said to your face I'm literally sitting there thinking like is this a trend where we literally just ignore what the readers just read like he literally said like oh this is not appropriate for work that's why he gave you his shirt she was there, like why would he do that like huh like I've never known him to never known him to be like that to me like I'm thinking to uh, I'm like why what what <sighs> the mental leaps that we kind of have to do to like allow the plot and anyway, anyway it's not that deep i've seen worse i'm trying to be kind i'm trying to be kind but i was literally just sitting there like what do you mean we literally just read in whatever chapter previous chapter that like he stated the reason as to why he gave you his shirt and why he didn't like seeing you in that camp so as annoying as it was like he gave you the reason so what now okay so next chapter marshall he like goes to sam and he like apologizes for 
you know, his review. He took his video down. He said that he contacted Indigenier. He also tried to give her the money that he made off of the vid trashing her. And she's like, I can't accept it. He's like, I insist. And they do that little back and forth, like, no, I can't take that money. And he's like, yes, you must take this money. Like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then he kind of insults her by being like, oh, with this money, you can actually make a good game with this. And she's like, bitch, it is a good game. You just played it wrong. It's meant to be played like a puzzle game. She tears the check up and she's like, I don't want to see you again. If you remember, like I said, D is Sam's friend since college. She also works at like the coffee shop that Link works at. She was like, do you know that Link was trying to ask you out on a date that time? I think he asked her out on like a hike or whatever. When I said that she was oblivious and Sam's freaked out because she's like, a date? What do you mean a date? Like I've never dated anyone before. And then Charles picks up Sam from the coffee shop. I can't remember why he picked her up because I'm thinking why did that happen? I think he just ran into her coming out of the coffee shop. He was doing dry cleaning or something like that on that side of the town. Like I, I can't remember. Something like that. So that's how they run into each other and he like picks her up from like the side of the coffee shop. We found out that Charles is into fencing. He's like yeah. Your dad's really, really like overprotective. If you want to talk, if you want to take fencing lessons, I am here. At the end of the day, Charles is like, let me drive you home. And she's like, no, it's okay. I take the bus. And he's like, are you sure? It's not safe for a young lady. I'm like, sure. I, I get what he's saying, but that would be, that would have been less annoying. It would have been less annoying and less like what what are we talking about if not in the last chapter literally in the last <sighs> literally in the last chapter we just talked about how her dad is overprotective and now you're on here being like it's not safe for a young girl to be out on the to, for a young lady to be taking the bus like don't piss me off yes are there perils to public transport sure but she don't know you like that either, dude. Like, what? You could be the peril. You could be a peril as well. Like, anyway, I think he also asks her to like dinner or something. But she's like, oh, I have other plans. Um, and anyway, this is kind of where you kind of see the seeds of Sam and Charles bloom. Annoyingly enough, but yeah, this is kind of where you kind of see like, oh, hint, hint, hint of them together. The next chapter sam's landlady sam and marshall's landlady goes up to sam and is like hey marshall paid for your lease and i must say there's so many men in this webtoon falling over themselves kind of just give and bestow blessings onto this babe like there's so many men this one wants to be her personal chauffeur this one wants to pay her rent anyway good for her good for her she goes to confront him because she's like what do you mean you paid your rent and he's like yeah i lied I, I didn't actually pay your rent i knew that if you thought that i paid your rent you would come and meet me this game i want to play it's not working my computer is not working something's not working could you please help me out and she's like i will if you replay my game and if you replay it properly and he's like okay fine if i replay your game i'm going to give you an honest review so if it's good it's good if it's bad it's bad and i'll say it with my whole entire chest she gets to working on his like computer and she tells him that she knows that monica is his girlfriend and he's like don't tell anyone monica wants to go public but he's seen social media couples fall apart plus he knows that his fan base would harass monica and again this is where like i'm like okay so if two plus two is four or four plus four is eight if you knew that your fans would probably harass monica if he could apply it to here i wonder why he couldn't apply it to her and to all the other games he's probably reviewed you know he asks her how did you get into gaming then she tells her backstory of like, you know, I was really sick growing up. Um, I played lots of games to pass the time in the hospital. Said that she kind of sees game development, I think, as like a pipe dream. And he encourages her. It's kind of sweet. He is kind of worried about reviewing her. 
just because he thinks that like in doing it he may not like her game and his girlfriend monica is trying to cheer him up in this like little moral dilemma that he has he's thinking damn like what if i review her game and it sucks still you get what i'm saying so she's trying to cheer him up and then we kind of discover oh okay he also has depression as well so the next chapter we get to see link's home life a little bit Link's a paramedic. He's also Dallas's older brother. If you remember Dallas, he's also in Sam's like guild thing. Dallas is a creep. What else is new? Link's kind of feeling bad for himself just because she was kind of oblivious to him asking her out on a date. So that's why he's kind of feeling bad for himself. Okay, so after that, we get a flashback of how they met, how Link and Sam met. So basically his dad was in the hospital battling cancer and she was in the hospital too in like a clinical trial. She heard him crying, she comforted him, they hung out with each other, she introduced him to her friends vicky and angela and she was there for him when his dad died they've just been friends they've just been friends for a while so i i think it's cute like me too when i was reading i was like hmm like i was drinking kool-aid a little bit i was like damn like okay i see like it's giving friends to love us i kind of like i i see what the vision was i see what and i see what it could have been i see what it could have been but we kind of see a little bit of sam's lack of self-confidence i feel like this trope is very much overplayed i feel like this trope of oh i'm not attractive oh i don't think i'm attractive oh blah blah woe is me i'm a conventionally attractive white girl but like i think this will be played but hey what do i know she asked link out on like a walking date and then she asks charles out for lunch and i'm like okay girl city girls up but she's able to do it because she thinks that like there's no way they actually like me like there's specifically link but like in general for both of them she's like there's no way they like me there's no way so yeah let's go get that lunch let's go on a walk vicky and angela who again are sam's friend and also link's friend they hear from d that sam asked link out on a date they're thinking hmm she probably didn't mean for it to be a date they're feeling bad because they don't want link to get his hopes up about the fact that like yeah sam probably didn't mean it as a date anyway so she goes on a lunch thing with charles they go to like a fancy restaurant and she's like why do you treat me so bad and he's like look you're gonna be my boss one day you're gonna be ceo one day i made you do menial tedious tasks to get you to stand up for yourself i see what the thread was i see where we were trying to go but you lost me on that path because i'm like hmm, aren't women in general socialized to be people pleasers just a thought just a thought like aren't women in general in the workplace socialized to do work that isn't in their job description like it's not like she's necessarily weak it's not like she's necessarily not equipped to be ceo it's literally just conditioning like she's just a woman you get what i'm saying like i don't you, mm, come crazy come crazy like i get the sentiment but is she weak yeah i mean she is but like is she weak or is she just a woman like i don't you know, you know what i'm saying like she is weak but like <laughs> Yeah, but she's also she's also just a girl she's also just a girl i think we're like halfway through because we have like 75 chapters in this first season we're currently on chapter 35 right now okay so marshall goes to the coffee shop this is marshall marshall goes to the coffee shop where these people be frequenting angela recognizes him and angela has anger management problems she sees him and she's like let me attack him for messing up sam's game and then she kind of has to be subdued by link marshall goes back home and he feels sad because damn like oh she has friends and you know she did her friends feel bad for her and blah 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 anyway still at this lunch date thing there's not really a date but like yeah still at this lunch thing sam's like i actually don't want to be ceo i want to be a game developer don't tell my dad he's like okay why don't you become my assistant you get to learn like the business management side of things and it will be helpful for your own personal like business endeavors when if you do choose to become a game developer and also it will be helpful anyway if you do change your mind and you're like actually no i want to be ceo Vicky goes to marshall with like coffee and like a pastry to apologize on 
Angela's behalf. She also kind of senses that Marshall is like depressed or at least like needs a friend. And I think Vicky's meant to be like an empath or something like that. Okay, so the next chapter we find out that Charles gets injured from like fencing and Sam's like, oh damn, sorry. And he's like, hmm, this isn't appropriate to you checking out like my injuries. I'm thinking to myself like, I kind of wish y'all didn't include that because I swear these characters don't care about what's professional between a manager and his employee. Like I'm thinking to myself like, oh, now we care. Now we care what's appropriate because he's like, this isn't that appropriate right now, but like, I feel like y'all started to like, do your stuff in later seasons. Like y'all started to do stuff in the office. Okay, let me not say in the office, but like, they got really up, up close to each other in the office. They obviously did some other things later on. So I'm thinking to myself like, what's appropriate and what's not. Somewhere in this webtoon, I can't remember what episode it was. I can't remember if I ever noted it down, but I remember her being like, oh, her dad did away with like any kind of aid. Her dad doesn't care about like his employees fraternizing because her mom used to be her dad's secretary. And I just feel like if we're doing that much mental like gymnastics, we're jumping through this much hoops about what's appropriate and what's not, we literally have to make a whole story about how, <laughs> how her mom used to be her dad's secretary. So it's okay. You know, I just feel like perhaps we shouldn't have gone this route, but you know, whatever, what do I know? Anyway, so he's like, I don't think that this is appropriate. And then when she realized that, yeah, I'm actually like touching this man's bare chest for his injuries. The next chapter, her dad runs to find her, but she had already gone back up to the office. So her dad only finds Charles because she already went upstairs. Charles is like, Sam is fine but you should know her thoughts about being ceo and then vicky kind of also invited marshall to like her yoga studio because again she senses that marshall kind of puts on a front and that he needs a friend monica plans a date with marshall okay so the next chapter dallas is a creep but what else is new we also learned that like when link subdued Angela from like attacking Marshall. She bit him like she bit him on the arm and then we kind of get a sense of that Him holding her him like subduing her took her to a place that was you know being scared of being physically entrapped Like she kind of felt that fear. She kind of felt a little bit of anger as well. Chapter 42 It's that you know guild game that they have. It's not that important It's you know when they meet up with other players from other guilds blah blah chapter 44 Okay, so Angela messages Sam and she's like look oh I think Link thinks that this is a date. I'm just giving you a warning. They go to the park Sam dresses cute. She puts on like a smidge of makeup and she's in his car and she's trying to get her seatbelt to work And he reaches across like reaches across her and kind of like does the seatbelt thing and then and she's like down like he has both arms or whatever and then she starts bleeding through her nose anyway they get to the park she's still imagining him in romantic situations she faints again from imagining him in romantic situations and while he's getting her water she's lamenting on how the one time she had confessed her feelings to someone it was a friend uh i think this was back in college she had confessed her feelings to like a friend and they only saw her as a friend and the friendship kind of soured after that. I think due to that, she kind of made sure to only see Link as a friend and never kind of venture past that because of that experience that she had. The next chapter, Monica is also at that dog park that Link and Sam are at. She meets up with them and then she offers Link a modeling job that's like it's so good guys it's like 300 dollars an offer no more than six hours a day she's like free lunch sam gets jealous and he's like yeah link i'm ready to go home you're a nipple baby like you're fine <laughs> you're fine link is struggling link is struggling his dad died it's a single parent household he has to think about his younger brother too you are fine you have your dad literally begging to pay your rent your dad is begging to pay your rent begging to give you a car you're working in your dad's office you are a nipple baby you are slotted to be a ceo and you're out here being like you're taking a bag away from a struggling man like what <laughs> you're blocking bands and blocking blessings 
and i just wasn't here for it i was like girl like no one wants to recipe to your peach cobbler no one wants your man like uh, free him free him it's just so funny because he was like oh my gosh that's really good money i could I, because at first he was like mm, i'm not really into modding and then she started saying the perks like oh i paid this much per hour you get free lunch you don't work more than six hours and he's like damn like i could actually really use that money like that's really really good money i could really use that and the millionaire's daughter is like yeah i'm ready to go home i'm ready to go home link take me home um, and then we see marshall marshall is also at that dog park with them the so link is kind of cold to marshall it's just like an awkward interaction all around it's just like mm, you know it's a, it's a bit weird they're being cold sam and link leave we also get monica trying to hold marshall's hand and he's not with that he's like bro like i don't want to be spotted in public yeah i don't want to show any pda like please someone can see us i don't want that so the both of them get back to sam's place and link is like is there something going on with angela because i'm trying to understand why she bit me why she kind of went to that dark place what happened is there something that i don't know about the way the story came out was so crazy. She was like, I can't tell you. This is not my business to tell you. If she wanted to tell you, she would tell you. But then literally like a split second later, she was telling <laughs> she was telling Angela's whole business. I literally was like, what the heck? Like, what went on? Sam, Sam loose, loose lips. Like, she literally cannot keep anything to herself. I was literally like, this is so crazy. Especially because later on, Angela, like, specifically doesn't tell Link about something because, like, I'm not going to betray her trust like that. And it wasn't even that deep. Meanwhile, this babe just went and told her entire trauma. It turns out that Angela was assaulted. And she kind of deals with a lot of fear because of that. And that fear, she channels it into anger. So that's kind of why she is the way she is. Sam asks Link, Link, hey, was this a date? And then Link kind of kisses her on the forehead. And I think he was gonna... I think what we're, trying, we're supposed to get from it was that he was going to go in for like a kiss on the lips but when he saw her literally shaking like a leaf he was like okay damn like let just kiss this babe on the forehead before she goes and dies on me because remember she like had like three nosebleeds and she fainted on him it was crazy we get some backstory on monica and marshall and how they met and it's actually quite cute and i'm kind of biased because i really really like monica anyway and i think out of these three leads marshall would be my favorite so i'm kind of biased because I, I i actually want them to work out because i know these 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 people aren't working out they're not working out they met at like a convention like a youtuber well i think i think the app they use the name that they use in this universe is like viewtube so i think they're viewtubers anyway so they meet at a youtube convention they hooked up they started dating and at first she was cool with keeping the relationship secret but she's like damn i want to show the world how much you mean to me i want to be able to hold hands with you in public i want to be able to be spotted with you in public like, i want to be able to show affection with you that's her thought process and he's like on a different wavelength he's like no i, I don't want to, my relationship to be public so sam tells her friends vicky and angela that oh she's been having nosebleeds anytime that she has a like hmm, a spicy thought um and they're like okay then exposure therapy for you so they tell her to i think watch some videos you know what type of videos i'm talking about sam gets to work and it turns out that she's been promoted to charles's assistant and she gets like a whole new office and everything and in getting that promotion from for her i think charles kind of like fibbed to sam's dad he told her that she's worried about not doing a good job at being ceo so let her be my assistant so that she kind of learned the business side and it's kind of a fib because she knows that i don't want to be ceo low-key angela and link they apologize to each other they kind of have a moment next chapter is charles giving sam like the rundown of her new job he tells her that she has to kind of dress more professionally and then also back at her building sam and marshall are passing each other on the stairs and then they greet each other and then marshall faints the next chapter we kind of see the lead up to him fainting marshall wakes up sick and remember we've kind of been getting hints that this guy's a workaholic like he works too damn much anyway so we kind of see him like he wakes up sick we've been seeing him overwork himself 
and i will say i'll give it to mongi because i like how it was sprinkled in it didn't come out of nowhere like we see like this man is overworking himself he's kind of feeling like oh damn i'm gonna screw up so he has to overcompensate and like push himself despite feeling sick he back to present he nearly falls down sam kind of catches him when he faints before he kind of lands on the ground um, so she takes him to her flat like gives him medicine she tells him to rest there's some self-loathing here i put in my notes there's some self-loathing there but i can't remember whose self-loathing it is i want <laughs> Just because they both are prone to self-loathing. I want to say it's a martial self-loathing, but who actually knows? Sam texts Link and she's like, yeah, Marshall is going to chill at my place till Monica gets here. Link comes over, he takes Marshall's temperature. He's a paramedic. We find out Monica had to shoot like a photo shoot, so she can only make it back in a couple of hours. So Sam's like, okay, just just sleep over our mind like it's not that you just sleep over our mind then two are like huh we kind of swap like povs and we're with charles now and charles is with the person who kind of gave him those injuries in fencing earlier on so she's goading him and it's like whatever he calls her on lady like which is like shut up like don't yeah. the way you guys gave passes to monkey the way you guys allowed monkey to really allow a male character to talk about women in any type of way she perform and have it be not like i have it just be in a way that's like not contested like it gets contested by her later on but like it was in the most like they gave she gave him like a mic drop moment anyway i'll get to it so he calls her on lady like by the way this is the fencer ava her name's ava he calls her um on lady like he pulls her in under the guise of like a kiss then he roughly like turns her face and then he calls her a bitch a bitch and i can't believe that you guys not me you guys who perhaps it's not you guys but you know you and you know yourselves you guys allowed a white woman to draw this white man and had him call this 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 half woman of color a bitch you guys allowed it you guys allowed it and you guys allowed it to be a mic drop moment it's like oh oh wow he called it that's a slur come from a man's mouth is a slur a bitch a man calling you a bitch won't you be like i would be clutching my pearls what do you mean a bitch b-i-t-c-h that's crazy that's crazy and yo allowed yo are fine with it oh god oh god like there were hundreds of people in that comment section being like hey go charles like yeah she because again monkey drew it so that he got like a mic drop moment like boom like there's a difference between being a certified being a bitch i was like what do you mean this is when i knew there was no hope for you people this is when i knew that like yeah like don't save them they don't want to be saved because they're really sad with a man calling a woman a bitch that's crazy anyway so back to these three links like what do you mean you want him to stay over you can clearly see that marshall is like ill like this man is ill i'll be very honest it makes sense link is her long time friend for years years so it makes sense that a man who just moved in to her but they don't know each other from adam they just moved in and on top of that he has review bomb that so i get it i get why in this case the overprotectiveness makes sense because it's like it's like girl this is a this is a this is a complete stranger i kind of see marshall's like look i'll give you a spare key to my flat i'll go to my flat you can check in on me anytime happy compromise monica ends up coming home early and sam's a little jealous seeing monica and marshall's relationship next chapter is basically just sam and link alone being like damn what if we're more than friends and link being like yeah it feels weird to try and kiss you when you're shaking like a leaf and being scared which fair marshall is playing sam's game how it's meant to be played meanwhile sam is calling a friend from college like could you help me out for my arts because i think she's trying to start up a new entire game and this friend from college had helped her in like her first game and the babe from college is like no i don't take commissions anymore i wasn't making enough to pay bills and she said she tried going to the gaming industry but no one wanted me 
So now I'm stuck on my mom's real estate business. I've got student loans to pay. And Sam's like, what? I can't believe you would give up on your dream. You are so passionate. The topic of privilege, specifically hers, is never discussed in this web, which is fine-ish. It's, it's fine-ish. The problem is that it's just incredibly jarring. It is the most jarring thing ever to see this white woman whose dad is a millionaire. And not only that, he's not just some regular millionaire. He's a millionaire in the field that she likes. He's a CEO of a software developing company and she likes software. She likes games. So she's a white woman. Her dad's a millionaire in the software game and she has hobby and interests that fall in line with what her dad does. She works in her dad's company. She gets to work at her dad's business. She literally has to fight her dad to not pay her rent. Her dad literally pays her salary. She manages to live in a place where a very popular YouTuber who probably makes a lot of money lives. Her friend of college is not white. So you see someone worried about paying bills and saying that, yeah, I don't do commissions anymore. I literally have to work for my mom now. I No one wanted me in this gaming industry. And then we get Sam being over here, like her biggest problem is that she doesn't want to be CEO. <laughs> do you see what I like? I just, I just feel like, you know, can I eat passion? Can I eat passion for lunch? Marshall is getting into Sam's game a bit more. He finds that it's subverting his like initial thoughts on it. Charles is also like eavesdropping on Sam's call to that her friend from college. Her name is Jasmine, I believe. And Sam ends up talking about like, her game and how like her rating got tanked because Marshall reviewed it. By the way, this child is an eavesdropper. I must say, he was talking about unladylike behavior. I'm telling you, this is behavior on becoming of like a responsible person. Why are you eavesdropping on people? Like he, he he's done maybe twice in this first like season. I saw it happen twice. I'm like, why are you eavesdropping? Mind your business. Mind you, like we're talking about manners and unladylike behavior. You you are mannerless. You are actually very mannerless. Anyway. Angela sees Link at the gym and Link's like, hmm, I love Sam, but I'm not sure I'm in love with Sam. He's thinking to himself, like, it's possible that I try to get closer to her. We're so busy in our individual lives by trying to get intimate with her. I was trying to kind of bridge the gap between us, like being distant. And Angela's like, don't give up on her. And I'll give it to Monkey again because, like, the seeds were there from the beginning. So the sense that these were not going to last. Like, there was always that kind of uncertainty there. It didn't come out of nowhere. As much as, you know, it, it felt very abrupt when he suddenly was like, I don't find you attractive. And it's like, don't give up on Sam. Angela and Link are doing some boxing. She hurts herself. He helps her out. They talk a little bit more. He invites her for more like sparring lessons at the gym. At this point, they are very much like past the point of like Angela biting him. Like I think they're very much in a better space. We also get a flashback of maybe her liking Link or at least finding him cute when Sam first like introduced link to like her friends you know there's a little flashback there but also sam is such a blabber mouth because in this flashback we literally see angela specifically asking sam and i think vicky not to tell link what happened she literally like don't tell link what happened and she 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 went ahead and she ended up doing that she went out and she ended up doing that and i remember somewhere in here I can't remember if I've already passed the scene, if it was at this gym part. I think Link was asking Angela like, hey, do you know what Sam feels about me? And she literally was like, look, Sam's my friend. I can't betray her confidence. And all they're talking about is feelings, not trauma. She literally keeps, she literally is like, mm, you're not getting that out of me. But I just have to tell you, don't give up on her. Meanwhile, this babe went and told her the A, B, C, X, Y, and Z of, of her trauma. Like, it's so crazy. Marshall's playing the game a bit more. He's interacting with more characters with the game. Game keeps subverting his expectations. He's enjoying playing the game. It's a fun time. Next chapter, Charles starts her game. Because remember, if you remember, she like, he was eavesdropping, like a mannerless, classless, no decorum was not taught anything in his home 
man he eavesdrops he knows about her game whatever fine so he starts her game and he's approaching it in a different way to marshall he's definitely a bit more perceptive than marshall i think he goes for the not so obvious choices in the game also charles is getting booty calls from Ava, the woman that he called a bitch, if you remember, like, yeah, it's just a mannerless, classless man. Like, again, I feel like the monkey is so weird because she ends up kind of like degrading her. It's like the weirdest thing. He, it ju he just treats her in like a nasty way. Um, and he keeps ending up looking like in the right of things. Like even this like booty call that she does, it makes her kind of look very like desperate. But it's just weird. It's just weird. I'm not saying she's perfect though. I'm not saying she's perfect, but I think there's a huge difference between exerting your power dynamics in a heteronormative relationship, calling a woman a bitch, leaning into a kiss roughly like moving her. I think there's a huge difference between that and goading someone in like a sports game They're like that's part of sports like they were fencing was she rude i guess yeah but like they were sporting you get what i'm saying like i feel like men do that to each other all the time so i don't know i just mm, mm, you know mm. anyway so he's like no we're not hooking up right now tonight and then it turns out he's actually sleeping with someone who works in his building we saw her earlier in like the elevator also sam is pondering hmm do i like link do i even want to like kiss him and i'll give monkey credit here the link sam abruptness like you could definitely tell from a couple chapters ago that like we don't see it for them marshall's feeling depressed but he feels slightly better when he's playing sam's game charles is also talking to women anyhow he's talking to that rose woman who works in the same building there's also this weird thing that monkey does with women who have sex with charles they somehow always have to get taken down a peg it's the weirdest thing it's literally so strange they're the ones who are desperate for sex not him and when eva texts him he's like damn why do i always attracts the most disagreeable woman like shut up shut i can never forgive you guys for going along with this i can never we get a bit of charles's backstory in the next chapter this chapter 17 he keeps a wedding ring in his pocket like attached on a chain and then we also learned that his wife cheated on him sam's bleeding i can't remember how she started bleeding okay actually i remember when she kind of cut her hand on like a vase and it was this whole story about him fainting on her so she's bleeding and charles takes her to the hospital next chapter is more footage of like marshall playing the game sam and charles in the hospital where sam's older brother is a doctor at this hospital charles and sam's older brother who is not on the screen but i think what's his name i feel like it's jay I feel like it's Jay. Charles and Sam's older brother, they have beef. Who knows why they have beef? Who knows why Charles has beef with the men in her family life? I could never tell you why. Anyway, so they have beef. Sam's older brother, Jay, is incredibly protective as well. And because he's like her family, he can't like administer aid to her. So he gets his girlfriend, who is also a doctor, in the hospital to like administer aid to charles charles is like holding her hand because she hates i think shots or something so he's like holding her hand and she's like squeezing it really tight marshall he's really really stuck into this game like he likes the escapism he's getting really sucked in he likes the personalities of the characters the depression seems to be kind of like at bay while playing the game monica also comes and sees him playing the game um without him knowing like let's say he's sitting over there she's like standing behind him and she's seeing him playing and i think she's frustrated because she's been begging and pleading and telling him you need to rest you need to take a break and she's just like you know what don't say that she don't want to be saved like she literally leaves his apartment without him knowing okay so we're back in the hospital her older brother is like i don't trust charles he manipulates people he's bad news honestly this plot point about charles being like unscrupulous never went anywhere like truly never went anywhere and it's just so weak it's like just fire him just fire him like crazy idea just fire the guy and like okay he's good at his job so like literally so you will find someone else who's also good at that job i promise you why on earth would you want someone that you distrust that much on a personal level working with you working under you now 
if you had told me that Charles had something on them. Maybe Charles is blackmailing him or Charles is blackmailing the family, who knows. Then I would understand. But other than that, literally just firing him. Like I remember her older brother is like, oh, you know, he's bad news. Like it makes him good at his job, but like as a person. But and I'm literally like, fire the guy. You will find someone who is trustworthy and is also good at their job. Fire him. Like why are we going on about this? I just thought it was such a weak plot point that goes nowhere. Maybe it could have gone somewhere later on in later seasons, but like it literally did not do anything for the plot. Sam sticks up for Charles and she's like, both of you have impossible expectations. I'm going to come to my own conclusion, okay? I'm pretty sure Sam was eavesdropping. Anyway, in the car, he's going on about how her family treats Sam like a child, about how her friends and family probably like hover over her and call me crazy i don't know if it's appropriate to tell me about my own family like shut up like i don't i don't anyway it's, it's my own bias i won't like I, I don't like charles so anything he does in relation to her i'm like shut up like literally like no one wants to hear you after doing all of that after telling her about herself and about her family and about her friends and how they're all hovering over her and make her feel like a child blah blah, blah. he's basically like your clothes aren't professional she wears like oversized baggier clothes this babe pouts for one second in the car he she pouts for one second and he's like, you know what? Sorry, sorry, uh, you know what? Don't worry, wear whatever you like. We literally just finished a convo about how she's being babied. And she literally pouted for one second. And he's like, he, he proceeds to baby her. Everything revolves around her. And it's like, yes, that's the point. I understand. Not only is she the main character, but like, she had a very like, um, sick childhood growing up. So yes, people baby her. They revolve the whole world around her. She is the sun. It's just this portrait of victimhood doesn't mesh well with like the real power and mobility that this babe has. Like I remember earlier in the chapter, she was like, why would Charles want to manipulate me? I, I have no wealth. I have no power. And I'm literally sitting there like, no wealth and no power. <laughs> You're the CEO's daughter. What are we talking about? What are we what are we saying? She was like, you know, her older brother was like, oh, he's manipulative, blah blah blah. So she was literally thinking to myself, why would Charles want to manipulate me? I have no wealth, I have no power. You're slaughtered to be the CEO. What are you talking about? No wealth or no power. This is why I mean like the, the, the victimhood doesn't mesh well with the privilege that this babe has. Anyway, he's like, my bad, I didn't get enough sleep because I was playing your game. And she gets excited and he's like, hold on, I've not finished it. When I do finish it, I will tell you about it. Marshall is still playing the game and it's a good time to mention that the depiction of most of the characters in Sam's game, they're like her friends. So uh, I don't know, Abe was like a knight in it. I think Olivia, that 12 year old girl was like a wolf or something, like a werewolf. I think Vicky was like a witch. I think she was the knight actually. She was the knight. He was like the prince. Um, Abe was like, like the queen's like he worked for the kingdom or something like that i can't remember anyway so her friends are like depicted in her game and the last chapter we finally made it oh we finally like everyone take a deep breath we finally made chapter 75 last chapter of season one marshall finishes the game he absolutely loved it as the credits are rolling he sees that sam had actually dedicated the game to him and in that moment the guilt and the depression they just flare right back up so charles is walking sam back to like her apartment and then they see marshall and marshall and charles know each other i don't know if i mentioned this but they know each other because ava is like i put this string right here ava is marshall's sister so they know each other i'm pretty sure charles called i think he called him like ben or something like that and she was like who, who the hell is ben Marshall sees them. Marshall apologizes to Sam and he's like, look, I played your game. I loved it. Yada, yada, yada. She looks really grateful. Then guess what? He faints and that's the end of it. <sighs> I, I feel like I ran a marathon. I feel like I ran a marathon, guys. Like that was crazy. So that's how it ends. Um, 
I know I put the green string here, but that's because they were debating their like relationship. I also got gray. Gray is here too. So yeah. There's gray and green, but obviously I don't know. If you guys want me to do the second season of this, let me know if I should remove the green when we get to that point in stage when like they're like, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. Also, I realized that like I never put and I feel like it's fine not to. I didn't put like a connecting line to them for like friends and family, but I feel like I don't think they're friends and they're definitely not family, so I just left that there. That's it. I kind of try to keep my thoughts. I try to just like give a recap, so, so not much of a review. Obviously, my thoughts kind of bled in, but I will say there's some weird things about women in this web too, yo. Like, sorry, sorry. I don't wanna yuck anyone yums. I don't wanna spoil anyone's fun, but like, there's just some weird thing about women in this thing, like. If you think about it, and also if you think about it, there's also weird things about like privilege and things like that. But yeah, that's it. Um, season one, I think the start of it is kind of slow. I yap a lot, so I think for a lot of these episodes, they're really just like one night. And I was shocked to find that out. Like I could literally summarize some of these episodes like literally just one night. Yeah, that was that was kind of it. That was kind of it. If I go through like a rundown, it's babe who is ill everyone is really overprotective over her she doesn't know if she wants to be ceo then we get him who possibly likes her her who possibly likes him back her and him possibly like each other her who made a game who he reviewed and like trashed and she asked him to review the game do play, play the game properly he did and he ended up liking it her who's dating him him who's dating her, her who wants the relationship public but he doesn't want it public, her who is like the employee of him, him who's technically <laughs> going to be the employee of her when she, when and if she becomes CEO, um, they are friends, they are lovers, they are whatever the hell they are, um, but yeah, that's basically it. Let me know what next you want me to talk about. Like I said, I know that people want to see this because I can check my analytics. There's another way people want to see as well. But let me put it in your hands. Let me know what you guys, maybe the most liked recommendation I will do a video on. But make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to engage because I'm trying to get money to like actually <laughs> get new ink. For my printer, unless we can do the black and let, let me know. Do you guys vibe the black and white? Let me see. I feel like the color adds something. I don't know. I feel like the color does something. Um, but yeah, also, I did a video on this is why I mean by like I'm going through like a channel like crisis because I don't know what to do. I did a video, my last video was on Mallory Towers. I don't know whether to keep this the video here on this channel. Because obviously I thought of this channel to be very much webtoon heavy. I only talk about webtoons. But I feel like there are other people like me out here. Like I feel like there's not only like webtoon people out here. I feel like there are people who have other interests in other things. Webtoon, whether it's webtoon, whether it's books, whether it's anime, whether it's blah. You get what I'm saying? Shows, pop culture, etc. etc. Um so I don't know whether to keep it here or to make a separate like thing for it. Anyway, many thoughts, many thoughts, many thoughts. Um, what else? Also, if you guys know like good microphones, let me know. I use my phone to film, so let me know if there's a good microphone I can use that is compatible with my phone. That's number one. If you also know good editing, because I use CapCut on my phone as well. And this is my laptop, it's like a Lenovo. If I had like a macbook i would use like final Cut pro or like the apple one but like i don't have those so if you guys know any free easy to use editing i guess i could also get like capsules on my laptop as well i feel i feel like that's possible anyway that is it for this video um yeah that's it oh i didn't show you guys my hair but it's really really cute i really like the color um i have like a claw clip up here i'm really just waffling yap 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 um but yeah okay i'll see you in my next one bye